Hey. <laughs> You're actually here. I, uh... I didn't expect you'd... Anyway. Sorry I'm late. Got a flat tire. <clears throat> um, you know, I should get a drink first, shouldn't I? I don't think they like it when you come in and take up a seat without ordering anything. Plus, without one, I won't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, hi. Uh, flat white, please, with an extra shot. Yeah, card. Uh, no, wait. Cash. I've uh, got a few coins I'd like to get rid of. Um, <clears throat> uh, 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 fuck. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. God, what's wrong with me today, yeah? I'm just at that table there. Thanks. Uh, you didn't see any of that. Okay. Nothing happened. I paid by card and I didn't spill anything. <sighs> I, uh, I don't know. I'm clumsy, but not usually that clumsy. I think I'm just nervous. Uh, about, uh... Well, meeting you again after so long, mainly. But I'd like to pretend I'm not and that this is all totally normal. Do you think we could do that? Oh, great. Good. <laughs> Thanks. Like I said, oh, almost said, I didn't expect we'd actually end up meeting. I was sure that you'd cancel on me. Sure of it. Stupid, I know. <laughs> but I was nervous about that. Uh, hmm. Well... To be honest, I thought about it myself. Cancelling on you, I mean. When I said I got a flat tyre just now, uh... No. I didn't. <laughs> I was, in fact, sat in my car, freaking out about this. And before that, I was sat at home, freaking out about this. And before that, I was standing in the shower for 15 minutes too long, freaking out about... You get the idea. Anyway. I've, uh, been... Freaking out a lot. Well, to be fair, I do that most days. So, if it wasn't this, it probably would have been something else that had me freaking out. But, you know, this was a big one. Perhaps you should be flattered. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be either. Ah, oh, thank you. Oof. Uh, it's hot. Uh, it's, uh, it's too hot. <clears throat> well, uh, at least I have something to do with my hands now. I get so fidgety. Uh, why am I telling you? You know. Hmm. Anyway, how uh, have you been? It's been a long time. Yeah, I got some idea from your Facebook and Twitter and whatever. Seems like things are going well for you. But, uh, that's social media, isn't it? It's not the truth. So, I'm asking in the real life sense. How have you been? Oh, really? Nice. I'm glad work's going well. I really am. But, uh, you know, I kind of meant not work. Other stuff. Things that really matter. <sighs> well, okay. For me, work is just work. Like it's always been. I couldn't really care less about it. Although, that said, it's pretty weird that it brought me back here. I took that job kind of as an excuse to get away after we... Uh, fuck it, after we broke up. I didn't want to just stick around here. I was scared of bumping into you or something. Hmm. So, I don't know. 
It's pretty bizarre that a company that had nothing to do with this city decided to open office here and send me to help get it up and running. What are the chances? Why this city? Right, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought it was a weird coincidence. So, anyway, I uh, chose to take it as a bit of a sign. I'll only be here for a week or two, but I thought it was time for us to get back in touch. I'd been thinking about it anyway, you know. <sighs> yeah. The number of times I'd been sat there with my finger hovering over the add friend button, you know. Not doing it, but wanting to. Stupid. Anyway, I'm glad I got over myself and eventually did it. And now look, here I am, on the brink of a nervous breakdown in the middle of a cafe. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, a tiny bit at the back of my mind, maybe, but not really. It's okay. It's, uh, it's normal to feel nervous about meeting someone you haven't spoken to in ages, right? Especially when, uh, well, you know. Yeah, this isn't an everyday sort of occurrence. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to act, you know. How casual should I be? Should we talk about it? Mm -hmm. Who knows? It probably doesn't bear thinking about too much. I should just go with what my gut tells me to do. <laughs> yeah, good question. Mostly, my gut is gurgling nervously. And hey, I'm doing that already too, so it looks like I am following my gut. <laughs> but also, I think it's telling me to say that uh, it's really nice to see you again. Hmm. In the real way, not the small talk kind of way. It really is nice. I was a little worried that I'd just feel miserable laying eyes on you again. You know, I, I thought I'd be full of regrets. And, hell, I kind of am, but mostly, uh, it's nice to just remember the good times we had, and, well, I think I'm lucky you were willing to meet up. Yeah, well, it, it would have been pretty fair if you'd said you didn't want to see me. That's what I was preparing myself for. I was readying myself for that for a day or two before I actually messaged you. So, I was surprised when you said yes. In a good way. It was a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> what? You weren't nervous? You think I'm daft to have thought about it that much? Is that it? Ah, uh, you're probably right. But it'd be odd if I didn't overthink it, wouldn't it? That's how I've always been. I'm afraid not much has changed there in the years we've been apart. Some other things have changed, but not the overthinking. That's just who I am, I fear. Yeah. <sighs> but, uh, anyway, it's genuinely really nice to see you. Difficult romantic relationship aside, you were my best friend, and right now it just feels like I'm seeing my old best friend again. It's making me feel kind of nostalgic. Hmm. I really wish I'd got back in touch with you sooner, actually. Coming back here for work was a good excuse, but I wish I hadn't waited for an excuse. I should have messaged you the first time I thought about it. Uh, maybe it was reasonable to be a little hesitant, but more than anything I was thinking of you as a friend, so what cause was there to hesitate? God, you know, I've been rambling. I haven't asked anything about you, really. Come on, tell me about work if you want to. I saw on your profile you were relocating or something, is that right? <laughs> no shit. You're relocating to where I live now? Right after I've been sent here for a week? What the, what the fuck are the chances of that? That's nuts. No, that is actually crazy. 
啊，嗯，哈，然后我们可能会看到更多的彼此。你知道，很有趣，我在考虑搬到这里，并不是因为任何原因，我只是有一种渴望想回家。我打算用这次旅行来找出如果这是什么我真的想做或不，但现在，我。Uh, hmm. I suppose. I suppose that hasn't really changed. Don't know why I brought it up. Well, <laughs> it'd be a bit weird if I said that you moving away has made me rethink it, wouldn't it? Like, we haven't seen each other for years. It probably shouldn't be a factor. <laughs> On the other hand, if you moved away. Just as I moved here, that'd be weird too. So now I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, uh, to be honest, there isn't a whole lot keeping me where I am at the moment. I thought after our breakup, moving away would give me a chance to reinvent myself. I wanted to do that thing where you go to a new city and. Make loads of new friends and forget about your old life. It didn't occur to me just how hard that would be. So, yeah, there's not much for me to miss there, and few people that would miss me. Hmm. I've dated a little, but nothing's really lasted. All just felt a bit. <sighs> You know when it's like um, you feel like you've already done the initial stage of dating. You got so far with it, you don't really want to do that all over again. Some parts of it are exciting with a new person and all that, but for the most part, it's just frustrating. <laughs> right. I want to skip the first bit and. Go straight to getting a Chinese together and watching a film at home. The comfy relationship stuff, not the dating. I'm too old for that. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, what about you? Have you had any luck in that regard? Seeing,、uh, seeing anyone at the minute? <laughs> wow. I didn't think we'd be in the same boat. <laughs> well, 'cause you're a catch. I always thought I was punching well above my weight when I was with you, you know. So I was sure, as soon as you were single, someone else would come along and snatch you up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would you think the same about me? No. <laughs> That's stupid. I was always the one that got lucky. You were always the catch. That's just how it's always been with us. I mean, how it always was. Everybody knew that.、Hmm. Not you. Well, you. You are a terrible judge of that kind of thing, anyway. <laughs> stupid. You know what's really stupid, though. Really, really stupid. <laughs> Why did we break up? Like I'm being serious. I can barely even remember. No, I don't remember the bad stuff, or even the breakup itself. I just remember you being there in my life, and it being wonderful, and then you not being there. <sighs> it was just some crap about careers and settling down too soon, wasn't it? Barely even a reason. <sighs> That just seems like such a waste now, such a a mistake, 
even. It feels like... It feels like when we made that decision, we made a mistake. Right? Wait, I'm... I'm sorry. I, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to be so heavy. I didn't expect to turn the conversation so serious. You know? I thought this would just be a casual little chat. A fun reunion. Am I stupid? Maybe I'm stupid for thinking that would be possible. But <laughs> It's like the mere sight of you has resulted in me blurting out all the thoughts I've been having for the past few years. I couldn't have held these feelings in if I tried. Or if I had, it would have just felt fake and forced. Oh, God. You know, I should probably just leave. This is... Uh, I don't know. It feels messier than I thought it would. I thought after all this time, I'd be able to just come for a coffee with you without it being weird. And I thought we could just be like friends again in that chill, casual sort of way. Maybe that doesn't even really exist in this sort of situation. Stupid. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I haven't even drank my coffee, but... This was... The thing is, I'm... I... I'm still not over you. Uh, wait, what are you standing for? Uh, there's no need to... <laughs> This was a, that was a goodbye kiss, right? That was a, this is the last time you'll ever see me type kiss. Oh. Mm. Yeah, okay. It wasn't. Nobody ever replaced you, you know. I gave up looking for someone who would make me feel like you did. Um, you know, the hotel I'm staying at, it's just around the corner. You could go there if you wanted and uh, talk about us. Yeah. 